What's up everybody? Blue Gabe, I'm a little horse. I've been in Mexico and we have been going hard. But look who's back, Mr. Jake Arrington. What's up? Blue Jake on Instagram. Lol, he's famous now, you got to tread lightly. He's got him a following, he's got him some sponsors. And we got Blue Wookie. That Can ain't my name. Oh my god, why can't, you said now that you're not going to school anymore, we can call you Wookie again. I didn't say that. Look at Jake busting out the Mountain Dew. Oh yeah. So I've been gone. Oh yeah, sorry. I've been gone for a week. Last time I was here was a week and a half ago. And unfortunately my parents were really sick coming home from Missouri, so I had to leave early and rush home and help them. Mason though, the star of the show, needs to show y'all something. What you got, old son? We got some dove breasts, bacon wrap, bacon wrap, uh, backstrap, deer backstrap with some cream cheese, then regular old backstrap. And you're gonna put it on that hot fire right now? Just beat it with his hat. Son, you're gonna have a, a bacon grease fire like we ain't never seen. You might need to let them coals cool down a little bit. No, son. L Lol, he's fixing to start a flash oh, fire. Nice. We gotta talk about this. Luke, go look on that buggy. What did we see hanging off of it? Me, it looks like two does dead. Two does dead. You guys just randomly pull up here and they got today's catch laying on the buggy. But these aren't your typical deer. They're sick of deer. That's a deer from, I don't know where, but not here. It's not native to here. If you follow along and you watch our last hog video, you got to see the debut of my brand new Can-Am. We still have the blue in. In that video, I said I traded it in. I don't even know why I said that. I, it just slipped and I didn't want to edit it out. Now, real quick, I need to talk to you about the last video we filmed here. Me and Lowell, Reagan and Lee, we went out hog hunting. I came home, I uploaded the video, but I uploaded it wrong and completely killed it. It's only got like 100,000 views and that's not very many for me. If you could do me the biggest favor, stop watching this video and go back and watch my very last hog video. It's a picture of me and Lowell. He actually had to catch a huge boar hog by hand like he always does. We forgot all of our weapons. We didn't have any weapons besides our hands. But I need you to stop and go watch that if you haven't already watched it because the algorithm was dead. I needed to upload it on Sunday and I scheduled it for Monday like I always do. We're on a plane headed to Mexico, getting ready to take off, and I remembered, oh my goodness, it's gotta go live on Sunday, not Monday. So I had to go from scheduled to live, and that completely killed the video. You will do, be doing me a solid favor if you go back and watch that video. And if you have watched it, maybe watch it again. You'll be helping me tremendously. Boys, what do you wanna get into today? That pond over there. Why aren't you fishing already? Look, that pond right there is like the holy grail. There's more fish than you've ever imagined. But I don't know if you can see it way over there. You see that big alligator laying on the bank? You cannot mess around with him. You see him by the pond bird? Oh, yeah, I see him. Let's fly the drone over there real quick. All right, Luke, he just blew off the bank. It's a big gator, it's probably a 10 footer and he's right here in this pond where the boys are gonna be fishing. So we gotta be super careful with that. We can't jack around. Let's look at this place from the air though. Well, have you ever seen it from there? No, sir. Man, that's awesome. We're out in the middle of nowhere at Lightsey's Family Ranch. Y'all check that out. And we're gonna get into something. I don't know what. We got hog dogs, we got buggies, side by sides. I brought some ground deer meat. We're gonna make some spaghetti, deer spaghetti. We're gonna make all kinds of good stuff. It's just getting started. Mason, I gotta admit, you're gonna make somebody a good wife one day because that looks really, really good. The dove are done. No. You want dove medium rare. I know, but I just cut one open and it wasn't done. Medium rare is not supposed to be done. It's supposed to be bloody in the middle. Everybody calm down. Ray Ray! Come here, all your fans are excited to see you. Yeah, you got fans. Okay, that one. You got Luke and Jake here. They're your moral support. Miss Reagan, Lighty. Come here and give me some love, Ben. Luke, stay away from Ray Ray. She's mean. See, Jake's still scarred from when he was little and you were little, when you were so mean to him. I don't think he's ever let go of it. No. Nope. Maybe one day. That or he's at that Oxford 13-year-old stage where girls got cooties. Well. <laughs> he doesn't get that from me, I can tell you that. <laughs> he's... Dad, I learned how to do a fishing knot. Well, good. I can't even hear what they're two squabbling about. Jake taught him how to tie a fishing knot. 
Mason, how's the how's the how's your life right now with the females? Are you okay? Do I need to give you a shout out? Put out your Instagram right yes. now. Yes. What is it again? It's uh, Mason Lightsey, all lowercase. M A S O N L I G H T S E Y. Both on Snapchat and Instagram. Oh, he done threw his Snapchat out. You guys see this big old mansion and this huge <laughs> ranch? All you women out there looking for a good guy with a whole lot of places to hunt, right here he is. Look, I'll even. I'll even put out the guides. I mean, there's the phone number. All you got to do is call that right there. That's for Mason. Mason, you know I get paid a lot for shout outs like that. You just got it no, for free. Actually, though, me being his sister, I'm very strict on who comes around. So don't listen to her. Yeah, don't we ain't studying her. a sister. No, I don't care. I have to approve. You got to call the herd? For sure. <laughs> they call him all the time, and I'm like, who is that? No, no, sir. You can't be blocking your brother. He's your I brother. I be saying they call me all the time. Neither. Yeah, I mean, look. Lowell's got to put up with you, too. Lowell's got a hole in his pants. Uh, you, rich, you ripped your cr Lowell, that might Oh, you got underwear on. Thank <laughs> God. I thought he was fixing to show us way more than we wanted to see. Hey, how about that live picture I sent you from the bathtub the other night of my hand? Gabe sent me a picture. Of just my hand because hand. it was wore out from Dolphin and I didn't realize it was live. <laughs> Maybe we should pull it up. No. <laughs> it might show a little scared. too much. I, I hit the like, live on and it swooped over. You almost could see a little too much on there. I didn't even know it did. I mean, who see even pays inside. attention that it's live or not? I don't. I said I it, my scared. hand was wore out from spearing all the grouper Honestly, in Mexico. I think I mentioned, I hope. That Typically, the women <laughs> would look for something like that. <laughs> Lol texts me back. He goes, Oh, son, you might want to watch out. That photo was live. I'm like, What the heck's that even mean? And then I touched it. And, yep, almost messed up there, folks. Let me try a bite. Yeah, you're eating it all. Well, I mean, bite. somebody's got to try. Oh, man, that's that's a deer back strap, right? Jake, he's got some steak over here. It's pretty tender. Let me explain something to you guys of what you're about to witness. This is Florida rednecks at their finest. I'm going to just show you all what we're working with. You can't see this buggy. I'll get off and show you in a minute, but I'm going to show you a bigger, batter buggy. Right there, Mr. Buddy. Long time no see. Look at him. You guys, this is what we run around and play with in Florida. Buddy's loading up some double lot buck. We got a wind and dog. We got Mr. Lee Lightsey and his beautiful wife, Tracy, right over there. And we are after some sick of deer that have gotten loose on his ranch. They're not good for the environment. They're non-native. And we're going to run them down with every kind of firepower known to man and try to harvest them. Jake's got him a shotgun. What you working with? The M2 Benelli. 20 gauge with some buckshot. Mason's driving. I've got a rifle, a shotgun, and my 300 blackout. Where's, you got my shotgun. Oh Lord have mercy. Yeah, I'm gonna shoot the 300. So how this is gonna work is we're gonna get about 60, 70 yards apart and start driving through this marsh. And hopefully we can jump these animals. And when they do jump, all heck is gonna break loose. If you don't know what double lot buck is, it's a shotgun bullet that has 15 to 18 big chunks of lead in it and slings them really fast and a lot of them. And Mason can shoot like a sniper, so. How come you're ahead of, see normal buggies, like that's a normal buggy. The shooter's next to the driver. Oh, you got a one foot advantage on us. All right, we're about to get this party started. This can get very dangerous. We could hit a bump. Luke, hang on. I should have brought my, my sunglasses, my hat. Um, I told you to bring a hat, but most importantly, hang on in case we hit a bull hole. Through 
these ponds, it looks like we're destroying them. In a couple weeks, it'll stand right back up and regrow, and you won't even know we were in it. Hold on, Luke. Hang on to your britches, Luke. <laughs> Well, folks, that's a machine gun Kelly over there. They done got the first one of the day. I didn't even see the deer jump. Me either. I want to know who missed the first three times. All of them. There it is, old nanny goat. Sick a deer down. They are little. I hope Reagan got a little bit of that on footage. Did you? Maybe. I don't, we'll find out. You guys, this is a hard hunt to film. As you can see, there's a lot going on. She's doing a good job. I know when I heard the first shot, I definitely ate that thing. I just saw everybody standing up pointing. Yeah, I just seen the tail go down. I saw its tail go yeah. back. As you can see, when that animal jumped, it jumped like three foot off the front of their buggy, so they had to shoot quick. These guns only have like an 80 yard range, so you've got to shoot them fast. You notice that I just thought about that deer was laying in the water. Go, Mason, go! Not you being a sick of deer. That would not be good. All right, we got ours down. They're over here getting theirs. It's so nuts to see these deer living in this like water. I I don't know. Did you find that other one? I swear the third one to hit those palmettas right there. No, I, brought, I shot right in the back of the head. Okay. All right, all I had to do is get up here on the buggy and we just found it. There's the third one. Yeah, y'all were parked on it. Maybe that, maybe that's No, that's it. Jake, why didn't you shoot? They were right there. He was standing there and you were standing hey, there. Hey, that's all about safety and you made the right call. I was thinking of waste all my buckshot on a sick of deer from like 100 yards. Son, sometimes you just gotta shoot, but you did the right thing by not shooting. So to give you an idea, Mason's allowed to shoot right here. I'm allowed to shoot right there. And Jake's allowed to shoot right there. The deer were on this side of the buggy, so Jake didn't want to swing out of his zone. He did a very good job. I fuck. Well, what happened is, you guys do not click off this video right now. I'm about to show you some of what happened we're also getting back on this buggy and we're gonna go do it again. You see this? That's what I was filming with on the buggy yesterday. Look what we were driving through though. When you're on a buggy and you're driving through those trees, it's rocking back and forth like crazy. I set the camera down, it was my fault, and I dropped it. And we didn't have anything other than my phone to film the rest of that hunt with. But here's proof that we wreaked havoc on some sick of deer. Well, I guess we got all of them, huh? Jake, what do you think? Lo, well, what do you think about Jake getting all big? Son, last time I seen him, he's a little tight. Now he's grown up. Look at Luke. He's still catching fish. He's all grown up. He hit a growth spurt for sure. Well, we got every one of them that we think was on the ranch. They're all done. Did you kill one? Yes. Oh, yeah. Good job. You want to cook a bluegill? I got spaghetti. Turn him loose. I'm back on the GoPro. We have the camera. We can now film the rest of this hunt. We're gonna go get on that buggy and go harvest something. A hog, a deer, we don't know what yet. We have the whole rest of the video filmed already. We came back to the camp and had an awesome time, cooked an awesome meal, and y'all are gonna see that in a minute. But right now, we're getting ready to get on that buggy and go hunting. This time, I'm not just bringing shotguns because we shot all of our buckshot yesterday. I'm bringing the 308 and the 300 blackout. And we might do some long range shooting. It might be up close, but it also might be a long ways away. And that's where my brand new rifle's gonna come into play. He can't get away from us now. Take two on the hunting action. This time, I'm not doing any shooting. Jake, my son's up to bat, and I'm not letting go of this camera. I thought last night when we lost it, or yesterday afternoon when we lost it, I was royally screwed because it had the whole beginning of the video on it but luckily with the orange little cap we were able to get back out there and find it now we've got the 300 blackout we've got a 12 gauge shotgun and jake's got the 308 and you're up to bat son i am not dropping this camera this ranch is one beautiful ranch 
How big is it, Mace? Uh, 2,700 acres. 2,700 acres. Think about that. I own an acre and a quarter. That's what I live on in Stewart, Florida. That's a pretty big piece of property, an acre and a quarter. This is 2,700 times that big. That's big. Got oak hammocks and flag ponds and palmetto flats mixed with oak trees. Got some bald open pasture. And we're in the search. What are we after today? Guess whatever moves. Whatever moves. If it's brown, it's down. Son, that's a Florida saying right there in its finest. If it's brown, it's down. They're going to come out in the open. Bolt one in it. Put one in it. Take your time. That's going to be a long shot whenever they come out. If they do come out, we might have to get on foot and get after them. Yeah, there they are by the oak tree. They're trotting. I see them. Way over there. Son, if you hit one of them things, I'm putting you in the military and a sniper. Way to the left. They're coming out by them palmettas. We're going to have to go get ahead of them on the buggy. You might be able to. They might go all the way down to the. Yeah. Wood. All right, come on. Get back in your seat and let's roll. I got to get out and get this gate. We just let an entire herd of hogs get away from us. It's hot, it's now midday. These hogs aren't up feeding, so any hog that we do jump is gonna be running and I don't wanna wound one, I don't want Jake to wound one. I have something very special for y'all though. Last night in the middle of the night, we loaded up the hog dogs and we went hog hunting with dogs at night and we jumped one of the biggest bars you'll ever see and it got real, real quick. One of Lowell's dogs almost gets killed I'm just gonna show y'all the footage. I feel y'all deserve it. So let's take it back to last night and catch a big old bar with the dogs. I want the boys to be able to see it too. So let's walk up in it. Come on boys. I want Luke next to one of us. It's a big hog. Come on, Luke. That's a big hog. Yeah, it is. Luke, get up here and get close. Catch him, Lil. flip-flops Jake do you see how that was done I, got it yeah. so many I ain't got no shoes on me too mm. Lowell where'd the dog bite you right across my hand right the there dog or hog? the dog did <coughs> he just swallowed a bug y'all tell me that didn't get Western that was about a 240 pound bar hog and if you wonder why we lassoed him at the end because he had already cut all of our dogs down he was still ready to fight he wasn't gonna leave we used the lasso got him like that was able to get control of him because we kept trying to catch him by hand and he kept ripping out and Lowell Roberts is crazy strong so if he rips out of his hand you know he's strong all right let's take it back because after the hunt yesterday we went and found the camera so I have the whole rest of the video filmed y'all still get to see the rest of our awesome day yesterday here at the Lightsies family ranch here get you a bread ball on there if you guys watch my last video You've already seen how many fish are in this pond. It's crazy. Come on, let's see if you can get one. I'm catching a bluegill and I'm using that blue to 
be able to catch a catfish and then that we're gonna flay the catfish put it on the fire eat it oh you're just doing a blue wookie catch clean and cook yes son they just shot like crazy out there did you hear that yeah. yes they're opening fire oh. oh my goodness jake you just had a giant come down here and fish fish that whole edge that was a huge one i was yeah. just getting ready to turn the camera too so the boys were over riding on that rough buggy they wanted to come back and fish and that's what we just did this ranch has so many woods to it that you can never track all these deer down i mean they've got palmettas oak hammocks open pastures ponds like you saw us kill them in earlier that was a wild hunt i've got some deer spaghetti that we're going to make i'm going to show you the deer when they get back well, like jake hopefully get... might catch a big old bass and this is just us living a normal life I'm this like... is what we do let me put some chum right on it Oh, son, you jerked him so hard he come out of the water. Good catch. He's a little baby tilapia. Yeah, they just jumped another deer, apparently. They ain't quitting until they get every one of them, I can promise y'all. So if you guys wonder what we do with most of our deer meat, I got a good friend, Big Ed, down in Palm Beach. He's a processor. We take him a whole deer, cleaned, but still intact, and he does this with it. Makes us ground burger, cube steak, whatever you want. Then all you gotta do is get you some spaghetti sauce, some spaghetti noodles, saute you some mushrooms and onions, cook your burger, and you can make the best spaghetti ever. And that's what I'm doing right now. I don't have anybody to film, the kids are fishing, everybody else is out hunting. I wanna get dinner ready though, so when they get back, we can eat. Spaghetti is one of the easiest things you'll ever make. Just start browning the deer burger like that. Add you some salt. a Little bit of garlic powder. A little bit of black pepper and it's just that easy so once you get your burger browned i added my onions and my mushrooms stirred it up now i'm going to take two jars of this spaghetti sauce just like so and stir that up i got my water getting ready to boil for my pasta we'll be good to go in about 10 minutes oh yeah it smells good don't it did you catch any more fish uh, no more fish. Luke got spun by a catfish out there. Oh, he got poked? Yeah, both hands. Is he crying? No. It hurts though. Yeah, I know it does. Hey, that which makes you weak will only make you harder. Oh, wait, how's that go? That which makes you weak. If it doesn't weak... kill you, it makes you stronger. There you go. He nailed it. If it doesn't kill you, it'll make you stronger. Now we're going to cook the spaghetti, the actual pasta, make some garlic bread, and when they get back, we'll be ready to eat. They're back. They're all back? Yeah. Oh, let's go get your picture with your deer. Your right. first sick of deer. Luke, yeah. did you get to meet the bad end of a catfish? Yeah. What exactly are you doing? Take it off my jacket. You're hot? We're gonna make some garlic toast. Garlic toast? Y'all like garlic toast? Yeah. Oh, that's gonna be good. Got some spinach dip with this white bread I, I don't like the garlic toast too thick so i cut a little bit of thin off let me see your hand where did it get you right here it got me on this hand too oh man you poor thing do they both hurt pretty bad yes <laughs> i think it's spreaded right here it hurts so bad the spaghetti's pretty much done the pasta's done all we gotta do is slap this in the oven and we're ready to eat Ray Ray, aren't you supposed to wait for me before you start eating? Yes. Tracy, you guys go ahead and eat. Look at Lowell. You know, Lowell's plate will always be the biggest. That I'm kid can eat, it, son. or that man, not a kid, can eat. You guys, check it out. Lightsey's Family Ranch. If you want to come to Florida and hunt anything from alligators to quail to wild hogs to monster whitetail deer, axis deer, black bucks, and everything in between, Lightsey's Family Ranch. All of you guys always ask me, how can you come down here and hunt? Lightsey's Family Ranch. They have it all. They have a big, beautiful lodge that sleeps 24, has your own individual hotel rooms, and then they have a full-time chef. You can come on a quail hunt, have dinner at night. You can go out here and just have dinner. Kill a gator, whatever you want. I'm gonna say it one more time. Lightsey's Family Ranch, that's where we're at right now. We're gonna turn this video off, and we're gonna start a new one in the morning doing a spot and stalk wild boar hunt with Luke and Jake and all of us. Right now, though, this video is ending. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. But like Jake always says, where are you at, Jake? We're getting the heck out of shape.